People in and around Tulsa's Greenwood District say this commemoration is more than just a day off. News on 6's Ashlyn Brothers joins us live from Black Wall Street tonight. Ashlyn. Lori, Juneteenth is usually celebrated on June 19th, but because it fell on a weekend this year, the federal holiday is today. That's one of the most powerful words that we have in the English dictionary, freedom. 157 years of freedom. When we first were brought to this country, we weren't free. And our ancestors kept working at it, became the president of the United States, became leaders and judges and lawyers, educators and business women, business men. June 19th, 1865 marks the day when black slaves in Galveston, Texas, found out they were free. Juneteenth is for all cultures and it's for all people. Most of Tulsa celebrations were held Friday and Saturday. Freeman Culver with the historic Greenwood Chamber of Commerce says the city's Juneteenth festival was a success. Scores of people here enjoying the music. Hey, hey. Artists, the food vendors, the historic area, Black Wall Street. We've been celebrating it here in Tulsa for a long, long time. So this is nothing new. Tulsa is moving forward, so it's, it's just the beginning. So it'll get greater. It'll get greater. Though it's only been a federal holiday for two years. A long time coming. People like Donald Shaw and Kevin Rogers have been celebrating Juneteenth for many years. They're glad to see the holiday become more widely observed. We still have a long way to go, but progress has been made. Culver hopes this will become more than a celebration. Patronize these businesses. Go to the culture and learn about the history, tour all the different sites, have an experience of what it means to celebrate African-American success. Culver says the chamber has partnered with Juneteenth headquarters for the 2023 celebration and says Tulsa is sure to be in the national spotlight. Live in Greenwood, Ashland Brothers, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.